Ahmad, would you talk to us about your recent book and your first film, please? Yeah, the recent book is uh, on uh, women and Indian Shakespeare's, and that came out of a conference that was held in Belfast at Queen Mary's, uh, a wonderful gathering of uh, Shakespearean scholars and practitioners from, from around the world. And I was invited to talk about my feature film, Life Goes On, which is a sort of adaptation of King Lear. Uh, it, it also has many other strands in the story, but it's essentially about a father and three daughters in contemporary London and what happens when the mother dies and, and the dynamics of the, of the three girls with their father. So uh, I brought in, a, wove in a lot of uh, Lear references and, and, and even lines in this wonderful film where we had superb talent, three leading actors from India and all the uh, younger characters were played by British uh, actors or British Asian actors. So that was again a real collaboration of talent of bringing people together. Um, the book, coming back to the book, it, it, it came out as I said of the conference. I was invited to join the editorial uh, team and it was marvelous to just put all this wonderful academic work together. And the book also has references to many groups in the south of India, in East India and in many other places where Shakespeare is constantly explored and reinvented by new creatives and new creative companies. So the book is just out from Bloomsbury. The book has been, it's, you know, people are talking about it and people are waiting to read it. So it's been a pleasure uh, working on that book. Um, there have been many other books. I've worked with the British Film Institute for a long time. There's a book on uh, one of our leading directors in India veteran directors, Sean Benigal, I wrote that book for him. Um, I've written another book on Ritaparno Ghosh, who is one of our leading, who was one of our leading directors, but for me, a very, very close friend and with whom I collaborated on a lot of feature film work. Um, yes, I mean, it's, it's really, as I said, very difficult to pin down projects because they're constantly flowing and for me, they're like, our children, they're like, you know, each one of them is precious, each one of them has a place. But it's really, really important for us to recognize that through the arts, we have to try and make change. Art, you know, it's not that you just go and watch a play or you hear an hour of music. It should be residual, it should leave us with certain questions in our mind, both about the world in which we live and about ourselves, our identities. Uh, this, this collaboration and this crossover constantly between India and UK, I think, uh, has nurtured that sort of very firm conviction that whatever we do, in that if we take people along with us, if they are able to walk that extra mile with us, they find their path, and that's, as I said, the most rewarding thing. Thank you, madam. This is truly inspirational. You do a lot of work. And we wish you good luck because your work is an inspiration to women, is an inspiration to women's studies, and also to strengthen the bilateral collaboration. We shall follow your footsteps and more to come from your student. Thank you with Shungita Dattu, who is currently visiting India. Thank, Thank you, you Shuma. Thanks.